hello and welcome back to another Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord video. As usual folks, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can get the content as soon as possible and put any questions or comments below or any opinions, anything you think I've missed, put that all below please. So today's video is more of a basic overview on how to use the smithy. If you were like me when you first looked at the smithy, I honestly had not a clue at how to use it at all. Uh, then realized a little bit later on when I kind of wanted to go back to it that it was a bit of like a tier system both for creating the weapons but also how to gain the materials to forge uh, the weapon of your choice because the benefit of using the smithy is you get to create a weapon that you want uh, and I believe they usually got a lot better uh, statistics than just buying your regular sword out of the trade man uh, so that's why I'm just giving a little bit of an overview just for if anyone else was just like me where they were a little bit stuck and kind of wondering what the hell uh, they were looking at. So you have your typical tier system as in what weapons you can actually create uh, depending on the level of smithing that you are currently at. So obviously the higher the tier weapon the better the weapon it is overall. So what you need to do is obviously start doing bits and bobs in the smithy so then your XP can go up so you can start leveling up your smithy uh, so you can start creating better tier weapons. Now this is also the point where you're going to start regretting when you trade in all the kind of like iron ore, hardwood, your looted weapons that you've uh, taken from battles as these are all very big components. Uh, hardwood itself is seems to be the lifeblood of smelting in the smithy so you use the hardwood to then create charcoal charcoal is then used to help break down weapons and from breaking down the weapons you gain more hardwood or you gain more uh, iron or other materials and by doing this then you gain the materials to then create the actual weapons now smithing also has a limit so you have bottom your bottom left corner you can see a little bar and it says current says I think 3% and that is my current smithing stamina so you run out of stamina so you've got to wait a long time for your stamina to then regain so it, it's trying to break up you being able to just smash through loads of uh, loads of work gain loads of XP level up all that type of thing so it's to break it up and make it a longer process so you will find yourself repeating the same steps over and over again whilst while you smelt things down so you smelt you know hardwood into charcoal you then refine weapons and break them down from what they were into the materials you need so you're going to do a lot of repeating and i believe your stamina should i think your stamina must be able to go up uh, as your smithing levels go up and you select specific uh, you know stats that kind of give you boost towards things so you will do a lot of repeating and I'm not sure if there's anything you can do to gain your smithing stamina faster uh, faster again if you can replenish it any quicker by doing something. So if any of you guys know that, please drop a comment down below. Uh, that'd be very helpful for me. And like I say, if I find out any more information, any more useful information, I'll up update this video in the future. I do believe this is a very top quality kind of addition to the game where you can actually start you know, being a, become a blacksmith yourself and forge your own weapon exactly how you want it to look, uh, at any type of weapon that you kind of prefer. And, you know, so you, you break it down to the blade itself, the handle, the pommel, the guard, everything, you know, and it's the same for other weapons, you know, for the axe, how you want the axe to look, uh, how you want the actual shaft to look, everything like that. And like I say, you can make them shorter, you can make them longer, you know, the, and I believe these stats must be better than the actual, you know, the, the weapons that you get in the trade. So I think this is an absolute top quality addition, especially with the skills that you can upgrade and all the XP that you gain and all that type of stuff. Um, you know, this is all really interesting things that they've added to the game. And I think it's been well worth it. And I think I like the fact that it is a long process one. So you, you've run out of stamina. You're going to have to go off and do a load of things and then you can return to it later on. 
So thank you very much for watching again. If you have got any, any extra little details or anything I've missed, put them in the comments below. As usual, make to sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications. It's really much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching.